Hello, Dr. Ju here of the DrJu.com and the 2020from.com. In today's video, we are going to be making a low-carb muesli. This is also a no-grains muesli. So uh, this muesli is suitable for anybody who is concerned about their blood sugar. And of course, this will apply to pre-diabetics and the full-blown uh, diabetics. Uh, this muesli, I've tested it over and over again and it's really, really very blood sugar friendly. Uh, when I consume it, my blood sugar hardly moves at all. So, uh, and uh, I'm hoping that that's going to be an experience too. So, um, what do we need for this muesli? Now, every muesli needs a base and usually most mueslis uh, tend to have grains as their base. But in this instance, we're not going to be using any grains. So. Uh, what are we going to use as the base for this uh, muesli? Well, uh, by the way, this muesli, it looks daunting at first, uh, but uh, as you can see, it's very simple. I'm not even in the kitchen, so no cooking is required. Uh, and uh, you're going to find out for yourself how quickly uh, you can put it together and uh, uh, how nice it is as well. So what do we need uh, as the base for this muesli? Well, we're going to be needing two ingredients for the base. Uh, and one of them is coconut flour okay that's the first base and uh, the second one is going to be almond flour okay so uh, that's uh, those two ingredients the almond flour and the uh, coconut flour will constitute the base of this uh, muesli what else we're going to need uh, well, we're going to need some almond flakes okay uh, we're going to need some of that we're also going to need uh, some char seeds okay uh, and uh, we also going to be needing walnuts because every muesli needs nuts and seeds so we're going to be using walnuts uh, in this uh, muesli and i've actually got them here i've broken them up into uh, uh, smaller pieces okay that's the walnut now uh, what else what are going to be the seeds well we're going to need sunflower seeds okay so sunflower seeds and uh, we're also going to need pumpkin seeds okay pumpkin seeds and uh, we are going to need something to sweeten it and of course we're not going to be using table sugar uh, we're going to be using a healthy sugar substitute so erythritol is going to be our sugar substitute so uh, what are we going to use to liquefy it well um, you can use any nut milk okay I got cashew nut milk here. I've also got coconut milk, and I've also got soy. Okay, but you don't need all three, by the way. Uh, we just you just need one. Okay, use any that you fancy. Uh, but in this instance today, for this music, we're going to be using cashew milk. Okay, that's what we're going to be uh, using. So let's start putting it together. Okay, it's very easy. The only thing is, well, af after you put it together, it needs some time because uh, the char seeds needs to absorb a bit of moisture, and uh, that's uh, all you're gonna need a little bit of time. So we're gonna need three tablespoonful of the coconut flour. So this is coconut flour. Two, three. Now. If you're very hungry, uh, you can use four or five. Uh, the same thing applies to the almond flour. Uh, we're going to need just three tablespoonful of that. Obviously, if you're very hungry, you can add more. But usually, three does a very good job. Uh, there we go. Three. Uh, there we go. Um, so the base is, is gone in okay so we've got the base in next we're gonna add the um, almond flakes they are blanched i usually just scoop uh, put about you can add as much as you like so nice almond flakes there you know to give it a bit of Chewiness, and of course we're getting some proteins as well uh, next the char seeds now char seeds if you're familiar with them they tend to absorb a bit of, a bit of moisture and uh, so we're gonna need so they need time okay 
We're gonna need three tablespoonful. There you go. Two. Three. Okay. Uh, usually you don't need more than three. Then of course uh, we got the walnuts, but as I said before, uh, it's always a good idea to chop them to tiny pieces. So here they are. Okay, it's a nice handful of walnuts. Uh, just scoop them in there. Okay. What else? Then the sunflower seeds. You need two tablespoonful of the sunflower seeds. Okay. So that's one. And that's two. Okay, that's fine. Next, pumpkin seeds. We also need two tablespoonful of the uh, pumpkin seeds. There you go. Pumpkin seeds gone in. What else we need? Ah, a sweetener. Okay, so like I said, we're using a refri tool. And you don't need a lot, you just need a tablespoonful of the uh, refri tool. That's all you need. That's a heaped tablespoonful. <laughs> that's got in. Um, that's it, really. This is the muesli already put together. Next thing we're going to do now is just add something to liquefy it. So, as I said earlier on, you can use any nut milk. In this instance, I'm using cashew milk. Okay, just mix it before I pour it in. So, you're going to need a mixture of a nut milk and um, water because this muesli is very thirsty. So you mix this initially. Okay, so look at that. Okay. Mix it together. And because it's got the char seeds and also the, the flour as well, um, it's very thirsty. So it will ab absorb a lot of the initial milk that you add on. You may need to add a little bit more, but you don't have to use milk all the way. Otherwise, you use a whole box, a whole carton of the milk because uh, it is pretty thirsty. After adding just a little bit more, all you need to do is uh, add some water to uh, get the consistency that you're happy with. Okay? Any water you add, any amount of water that is suitable for you. As you can see, it's beginning to thicken up. Okay? It's thickening up already. Um, you need to leave it for about 20 minutes or so, okay? About 20 to 25 minutes uh, to allow the uh, all the ingredients to absorb a lot of uh, the uh, liquid agents that you're using, okay? So, uh, like I said before, you may need to add some water. So, and that's what I'm doing now. Add a little bit more water. Okay. You can use milk all the way, but I just think you'll be using too much milk, too much nut milk, if uh, you use milk all the way. As you can see, it's all coming up really nicely, all right? So like I said, it, it sort of makes sense to leave this muesli, uh, let it sit for about 20 to 25 minutes uh, for it to absorb uh, a lot of the liquid agent, more moisture, the char seeds for them to soften up. And uh, after that, you just go ahead and start consuming uh, the muesli so we'll be back in about uh, 20 minutes or so okay so here we are 20 minutes later this is the uh, muesli the low carb muesli no grains muesli uh, really very nice uh, you, as you can see here it's thickened up some more I've uh, added some more water to it and uh, what's left to do now is to just uh, go ahead and uh, eat it so i want you guys to give this uh, low carb muesli a go and see how your blood sugar performs uh it's feeling as you can see uh it's really thickened up we started off uh, with just a third of the plate full and here we are okay so uh it does have volume 
which means it's going to fill you up and also uh, it's tasty and uh, more importantly your blood sugars are not going to skyrocket if anything they're just going to move just a little okay marginal movement of your blood sugar and that's why i like it and that's why i will recommend it to uh, you guys so uh hopefully you got some value from this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up please like the video uh please share this video with your friends family and colleagues anyone who's diabetic uh they need to be aware of this uh, low carb muesli and uh, if you've got any questions any comments regarding uh this uh, muesli go ahead and leave your comments down below uh, and especially if you tried it let me know uh what the outcome was uh in the comment section as well uh i think that's about it until next time well this is dr joe signing out time to eat Hmm.